Tell me you try. So Okay, just No, no, I, I will never try, trust me. Please. Never. Okay. I'm sorry. Never. Where, where, where do you get the snakes from? Uh, we find them, normally we find them locally. Around? Yeah, around. Okay, let me just stand somewhere. No, no, no. I'm, I can do the interview from here. No, are you uh, sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sure. <music> My trip in Malawi has been one of the most exciting trips across Africa because the people that I'm meeting every single day surprises me. I mean, Look behind me. This is a track for game drive. But, I mean, will you say there's a game drive right behind me? No. This is a young man who is keeping game animals with him. And it's so exciting to see that he has created something that never exists in this whole community. And I guess it's something that empowers the people around because it's going to employ people. It's something that is going to educate young kids because they have never seen anything like this. And if you don't know that game drive in Africa is one of the most expensive things to do, just Google it. But he is bringing it closer to them. I know you're excited to see. I'm just going to call him the animal man or the game man. Yeah, my name is Rashid Gelu the owner of Ara and Leo Farms, yeah, located here in Lilongwe, along the Bunda Mitundu Road in Malawi. Yeah, uh, Ara and Leo Farms is a place where we're breeding birds, ostriches, uh, peacocks, those are exotic uh, birds. And we're also doing uh, animals like a game ranch. We have zebras, impalas, sables, waterbugs. So you wake up every morning? Every morning, look at the birds, look at the animals, the snakes and everything. Then in my heart is like, wow, this is what I, uh, this is what I want. <laughs> how Hi. Are how are you? I, I, I'm not fine. Why? How, how about you? I'm perfect. You, are you sure you live with animals? Yes, I live with animals here, right Jeez, at the right. Jeez, man. <laughs> You, you, you have snakes there? We have snakes. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> snakes? Snakes. You live with snakes? We live with snakes. Wh which, which kind of snake? Oh, we've got pythons. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you you want to see them? No, of course I want to see them, but I, I really want to know why you're keeping these animals. Oh, uh, we, We're trying to protect the world, like the world animals. Okay. Yeah. So we're trying to protect them from the locals so that we also educate them that we should tell them that they're not very dangerous. You can live with them. Wow. Yeah. Listen, how did this start? You decided to just wake up one day just to live with animals? Uh, actually, it has been a hobby ever since I was a child. I've had a passion of animals and birds. Uh, I've seen so many passions, <laughs> but I've never seen this one before. Maybe my own is passion fruit. Yeah. But it's a passion for animals. For animals. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, this whole enclave is where you keep them? Yes, I'm also staying there. You I live, live here? With them? Yes. So, you wake up every morning? Every morning, look at the birds, look at the animals, the snakes, and everything. Then, my heart is like, wow, this is, what I, uh, this is what I want. You're creating your own paradise? Yes. But people were not thinking you're crazy for keeping animals? Come with me. Yeah, actually others were thinking that I'm crazy, especially maybe some of my family members. They didn't like the idea because when I was young, I used to keep rabbits, monkeys. So they were like, no, we don't want these. Sometimes they'll throw them away. But now they realize that this is what he has always dreamed about. This is what he wants. So that's what I'm doing. How, how do you feel seeing your childhood dream becoming a reality? I thank God because that's what I've always dreamed of. See, and it's success. When you say somebody keep animals, some of us keep goats in our houses, some of us keep chickens in Chicken. our houses. But what kind of animals are you keeping? Uh, we're keeping zebras, impalas, sables, waterbugs. We've got uh, different types of birds like ostriches, and uh, emus, peacocks, lovebirds, parrots, and the like. I love we also going have snakes and reptiles. <laughs> I don't I don't want to hear the snakes. You know, I love I love going to the zoo. Yeah. And anytime I go to the zoo, they will tell us to walk around just to see the animals. Yes. You've got a truck. Yeah, we've got a game drive. How? Uh okay. There's some sometimes we get some uh, other customers or other people that they're not able to walk. Like for example, if uh, someone is very old, so that's why we provide a game drive for them. 
they can go through the park, they see the animals and the birds that they want, so they're always happy. So which means it, it's, it's a huge land for you to be able to drive in there? Yeah, we've got about 115 acres. That's a national park. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you, you're creating a whole national park in your house? Yes. So this is the uh, entry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so we're just still doing it. We have not yet finished. So we're still building up. How, how long did it take you to come up with this oh, structure? Less than three years. Less than three years? Yeah. So is it open for the public? Yeah, well, the public is coming. Like, uh, it's open for the public. Uh, but at first it was just for me, my family and friends. So we have opened it like, it's, I think it's like two years now. Okay. Yeah. Why did you open to the public? Uh, because uh, well, first we need to educate them. We need to encourage them. They should know the, the benefits of animals. It's not that, you know, uh, in Africa especially, whenever you see a daika, all you think of is, it's in something like you can eat, it's food, you need to put in a pot. So we are trying to encourage them. Yeah? We're trying to encourage them so that at least we can see like other countries, they're keeping animals. I feel like so, this guy is talking so to me. So in Malawi, me. we are still behind. I feel like this guy is talking to me. Yeah. Let me tell you something. In Ghana, you can't even find a single game animal. You know why? We've eaten all of them. So we're trying to keep them now. I, I, I'm now an ambassador for game animals in Ghana. <laughs> Henceforth, we will never touch game animals in Ghana. What, what, what is this one? Uh, here we've just put up, uh, we've got some fish. Hmm. Yeah, so we, we didn't want to waste. So we're trying to put everything at use. So we've got some fingerings inside there. Wow. And then we've just built up an aquarium. Okay. Yeah, we've got some fish and uh, the turtle. Turtles inside, just I think because they've gone down, because this is about 8,000 liters. Wow. Yeah. So you can come in. And is it affordable for everyone? Yeah, because uh, our price is like for a, for a child is 2,000 kwacha. Oh, okay. Yeah, for an adult is 4,000 kwacha. Uh, game drive is 2,000 kwacha per child, per adult, and 500 kwacha per child. Yeah, so I think that's affordable. Right. Because comparing with other places, I've seen the prices are very high. Mm. So we're trying to, at least anyone can afford. Mm. Yeah. That's very important. And we've got some other, like uh, the locals, they do, which we do charge them 500 kwacha because, you know, we want them to come. Wow. Yeah. So this is a bird section. We mm. have different types of birds, this area. Mm. Yeah, and the animals on the other side. So birds, we have caged the birds so that at least people, it's easy for someone to see them. This is the Ugandan crane, right? Yes, that's a Ugandan crane. You're keeping Ugandan crane? Yes. Museveni will come for you, man. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a national animal yeah. in Uganda. Yeah. I, I mean, you are giving um, Malawians the chance to see the national animal of Uganda. Yeah. That's, that's incredible. Yeah, Ugandans yeah. in the house, let me know in what Malawi. you think in the comment section. In no, Malawi. I have so many fans from Uganda. Wow. Yeah, so I mean, they will be happy to see that. Yeah, they should come and see. Their national that. animal is here. Yes. But, but, but what so will this you... section is for birds. Like you can see, we've got different types of ducks. Yeah. We've got the Peking ducks, Kaki Campbells, geese, and the Mascavis. <sighs> do, do, are people not scared of you? No. They're not scared. But actually, at first, when I came, you know, others used to say, no, he's a satanist, he's a satanic, what, you know, things. Whenever you're trying to do something nice, everyone gives, gives you different types of names. But for me, I'm okay with it because I'm not doing that. This is what you enjoy doing. Yeah. Yeah, it's there on the corner. Jeez, now it's his. <laughs> Why are you shouting? Man, that was so scary. I'm trying to get what are you head. doing? I'm trying to get the head. The head? The head, yeah. Please, let it rest. Are you sure? No, I'm very modern. Oh, you want to hold it? Yeah. Hell no. So I'm looking for the head. Ha! <laughs> ha! Ah, ah. oh, no! <laughs> Did you see what? You, why are you running away? God, no. He grabbed it. Jesus Christ, no. No.
Jeez, man. Why are you holding a snake, bro? I told you I live with snakes. So cold. No, no, Look no, no. The way it's moving. No, 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 no. This guy lives with animals, man. It's like Malawi got everything. They got people building their own. Oh, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> they got they got, the, they got people building they got people building their own lake. They got people that live with animals. Jeez, that's a python, bro. Jeez. No, 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 no. Okay, no. Just, just come and try touching. Ah, no, 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 no. Even a dead one, I would never try cheese, man. Never. Where, 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 where do you get the snakes from? Uh, we find them. Normally, we find them locally. Around? Yeah, ar around. Okay, let me just stand somewhere. No, no, no. I'm, I can do the interview from here. No, oh, are you uh, sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sure. Uh, okay, normally, like, uh, sometimes we get a call from the locals. Okay. That uh, they found a python in the cage or in the, maybe in one of the chicken crows. Yeah, when they call me, and then I go there, I tell them not to kill them. Then I try to rescue them, and sometimes we release them in the forest. Oh, uh, okay, like uh, there's another one which we got it from the locals. Uh, it was found in a chicken cage. So it killed the chicken, then they called me and said, no, we've got a python here, we're trying to kill it. So I said, no, don't kill it. Then I had to rush to the villages. I found it was there, it had like, eaten a very big chicken. So I said, okay, can, we, can I try grabbing it? They said, if you can do that, then it's okay. So I, wow. had to, I had to protect it. I went there, I got a very big stick. I had to put a rope. Then I grabbed it by the neck, then I pulled it out. I had to pay for the chicken. Then we brought it here, that it has been here for about three to four months now. Yeah. So like most of the snakes you have seen there, we're getting them from this farm. Because the first time we were like extending the farm, we had a lot of snakes by the bamboos there. Yeah, so you know, they would always scare us. We would say, oh, we're getting freaked if we see a snake. So I was like, no, a snake is something that it needs, it's, it's, it's a must for it to stay here. We have come all the way from town to come and stay in the bushes, so we have to protect them. So what I normally do is I invite sometimes the locals, I try to teach them the goodness of snakes, tell them that snakes are always there, they can just, because if you see a snake, it will always run away, because it's trying to protect itself. Wow. Jeez, that's a python. Yeah. How old is this one, do you know? No, no. You have no idea, have you're no just idea. protecting them yes. from killing, just from the locals. to protect them. Ah! <laughs> just come and try touching me. It was falling, man. Did you just, guys see just it? Just come and try. Ah, no, no, no. It's okay. I'm done. I'm Are done. Sure? This is the animal man from uh, Malawi. Malawi. Is that that's bamboo, right? Yeah, it's bamboo. But it, it looks so closed. Closed, yeah, because we have some animals coming in next month. Okay. Yeah, so what we normally do is uh, when we have new animals coming in, we put them in a boma, like uh, just an enclosure so that uh, when they come, they should be like free from the noise until they get used to the environment. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we have closed about two acres, but there's wow. bamboo, so we've just closed. When the animals come, we'll put the animals inside there. Yeah, that is a dam. We did a dam. We started digging last year. So we've just pumped out all the water because we want to dig it down deeper. Because uh, we dug one meter, but we had water. So wow. we want to go at least maybe three meters deep and we want to dig it more. We can have at least maybe three acres of a very big dam. So that the animals will... Yeah, the animals can go there. We can put up some uh, like summer huts. People can watch the, the water and everything. Wow. Yeah, we'll try to build up some chalets facing the, the dam. This one, yeah, I can feed them, not the python. Not the pythons. Where are they, where are they going? They're chasing each other. You know, try. Hey, I'm not tall, bro. You're... No, you just try putting your hand even like this. You don't want my food, man. Try there, yeah. Take my own, take my own. Oh wow. No, but I'm giving you the leaves now. Why do you want my hand? No, just try giving them. No one do anything. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
do I feel like they're coming for my hand? What I'm saying? You're scared of the again? No, I'm just like thinking about the... No, 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 don't hurt. No. Oh, wow, that's... Ooh. Why you keep these things, man? You just love it. We just love them. I, I, I love birds. I want uh, people to come closer to animals and birds. They should learn and experience and love the birds. Does it speak English? Hey, how are you? How do people perceive this hobby of yours? Um, you know, sometimes I get different questions. Why are you doing this? Um, how do you manage? Because uh, if I say, mm -hmm. for example, yeah. If someone has to come today and says, I want to do this business, uh, it's not everyone who is going to succeed. Because I have a passion for this. Let's say, for example, you buy a, a, an ostrich yeah. at maybe $1,000. You take it home, it dies. How would you feel if you have like, you've just wasted that money? But for me, if an animal dies or a bird dies, I take it normal. You see, because it's part of nature. So I still, I'm still encouraging others they should venture into this. They should be risk takers. Was it difficult getting the permit? No, it's not. Because like for the, for the animals, you need to like here we have our department. Before you do anything, you, you go there, you approach them, you, you explain what you want to do. Then they come, they access the land, they say, okay, if the land is suitable for the animals, is it suitable for whatever you want to do? Then they give you a permit. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, what has been the major challenge setting this up? Yeah, we do have some challenges, but uh, like maybe getting on the land, some of it was an issue because I was buying from the locals. I wasn't buying from like one place, so it's just, just buying slowly, slowly. Yeah, so whatever I'm doing, I've never taken a bank loan. Mm. Yeah, this is my hard earning money. I go all the way to Zambia, Tanzania, buy birds, buy eggs. We sell the profit that I get is the one which I'm pumping in here. I've never taken any grant. Uh, it's the main thing is I can say it's financial because uh, whatever you see, as you can see, that we're still building up. We have started building like the chalets, the little money that I'm making, and the little money that sometimes I sell birds and everything the one which is I'm doing the chalets but uh, if the government can help in any other way or if there's anyone who is willing to help I would really appreciate and uh, we have a lot of employees I think more than 50 so once we finish the chalets I know I'm going to employ someone else we have got a lot of projects which we want to put here so I know those things will help uh, the government by employing other people so we have got a lot of people out there who are just staying dormant. They're not working. They're just staying. So I'm sure if we, though we've, I have help, like we manage to do those projects, I think it can it can work. I can really appreciate on that. Uh, my plan is if we can uh, have a very big game ranch and have all the types of animals mm -hmm. that we have, so that we can have, like, we can teach everyone the goodness of animals and birds, they should learn. Yeah, that's my dream, to have, to own a very big you know, a game ranch. Wow. Did you actually learn this in school? No, I studied computer engineering. <laughs> <laughs> and people didn't think you're crazy, just... Yeah, others th thought uh, that was when I was a child. I know because I was a problem because you see I would go in the bush I was looking for monkeys you see I was keeping rabbits keeping those white rats you would find maybe my aunties they'll say why are you keeping this they take they throw them away but I was still going there I come them they hit me they whip me they do this sort of things but I was still doing it so now that's when others they say you know what if we knew that you this is what you wanted I think would have just supported you. From yeah. the beginning. Yeah, because that's what I wanted. That's what I've always dreamed about. Uh, like uh, 
10 years from now, I think we are going to have a very nice, beautiful place that will have visitors from outside the countries. They'll come spend the night here. They can look at the animals, enjoy the view, the Bunda mountain view, you know, the warm heart of Africa. So guys out there, you're all welcome. You can come to Malawi. We have our Facebook page. It's written R and L Game Ranch. You can just search it or you can Google. You'll find them there, everything there or all the informations you can find them there. I want to say you are amazing. Um, thank you so much for talking to me. But I want to. I touched a five foot. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> it's okay. okay.